has been chosen by China's leading cloud computing company, Inspire Group, to host its regional headquarters in West Africa. The decision, according to Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Inspire Group, the second largest China's information technology industry, was because of the impressive economic outlook and the enabling business, political, and peaceful climate in the country. The company called on President Akufuado on the sidelines of the Ghana Shandong Business Conference. The Ghana Trade Fair Company is set to hold this year's grand sales as the biggest indoor and outdoor sales event in the country to bring buyers and sellers together to do business. A statement from the company said the event, scheduled to happen from September 27 to October this year, would attract not only Ghanaian participants but those from the sub-region and beyond. The amount of sustainable cocoa sourced by Cargill in Ghana has doubled since the establishment of its own license buying company model. So far, over 13,000 cocoa farmers are now benefiting from the initiative up by 30% from 10,000 a year ago. The figures have been published as Cargill makes its second sustainable premium payment of 4 million Ghana cities to farmers since establishing its own direct sourcing model in 2016. These premium payments currently represent the highest payments paid per bag of certified cocoa in the industry for the 2017-2018 crop season in Ghana. <music> Tijon Theom has announced that he will not leave Credit Suisse to run for president and his native Ivy Coast, an unusual move, particularly as bank bosses usually refuse to talk publicly about any potential career change. His announcement was made in response to recent calls on Ivorian Facebook pages for the Credit Suisse boss to run for head of state in the West African country. The bank's 56-year-old chief executive said he was responding to speculation in the media when he announced late on Thursday, having spent three years at the helm of Credit Suisse, my the task is not yet completed and I have every intention of continuing with it, he said. British Airways boss has apologized for what he says was a sophisticated breach of the firm's security systems and has promised compensation. Alex Cruz told the BBC that hackers carried out a sophisticated malicious criminal attack on its website. The airline said personal and financial details of customers making or changing bookings had been compromised. About 380,000 transactions were affected, but the stolen data did not include travel or passport details. That's it for our summaries tonight, Daryl. Yes, and uh, British Airways get into a lot of trouble, trouble lately. Trouble, I know. I don't know how you remember get the bedback story. One. Yes, yes. With Ghanaian and I remember uh, yeah. the then Minister for Aviation, Cecilia Dapash, mm. was so furious. Yeah. I can remember that sound bite. And uh, what's happening? Grand sales. Yes. Great to hear that it's, it's going to happen this year. Mm -hmm. I hope it's big as uh, they are promising. I remember those days when we used to go for the grand sales, uh, the yeah. trade fair. And it was an excursion at school. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. On the 6th of March, we always went to yeah, the trade sure, fair for sure. grand sales.